and messy messy is good um, for this mask because you know we want to create a raw effect um, ultimately the hair is going to be combed back and any latex that's still stuck to it will just create more of a natty look I suppose more of a raw zombie effect um, you know the important thing is just to to seal it up and then we can let it dry latex dries uh, what I'm going to do is add just a little more into the crack and then okay and then I'm going to be I'm going to kind of fill it in a little bit and then I'm going to start getting more of the line of the hair now so it dries uh, more according to final product. I don't know if you can see that, but this also gives me more open space to continue layering up the latex, building up the top of the ear. You can see here how I've uh, brushed the hair more straight back, and um, the hair is going to be a segment all of its own, but we're just sort of making sure that it's starting off with the proper uh, framework. You can see I've continued to build on the nose. It's thickening, thickening up quite a bit. Um, ultimately, I'm going to be giving it about uh, five layers. And uh, don't worry, I know it looks pretty hideous now, but the final product, uh, you'll see it'll all make sense in the end. So I've just been um, thickening up the nose a little bit. and. Uh, a few things that are important is the the nostrils you want to keep shape we can always poke through those later but you do want to maintain the shape of the nostrils and as much as the uh, the upper lip as possible but you can see it's sticking up very nicely there as well as the ear and we'll go ahead and apply uh, another layer here. Now, the benefit of having the hair sort of messed in with it is it helps it to coagulate more. The hair gets mixed in with the latex into a more of strands that help to create more of a, a web which holds it together. You see the dripping is slowing quite a bit. It's starting to dry up now, create more form. At this point we can sort of fill in some of the outstanding depressions within the latex. Okay, we're done with the most difficult part of the mask remaking and that's the latex. As you can see it's already starting to dry around the ears, uh, completely covering the hole is what we want and uh, the nose as well. Yeah, I know it looks like a very big and ugly nose, but uh, we're not through yet. We're going to be doing some more modifications and touching up later. Uh, the important thing is that all the seals are closed up, and those nostrils we can actually open up again later. Uh, the extra blotches around the eyes and stuff don't matter. We're going to be modifying that. You know, around the lips, that actually adds to the weathered effect of the mask. So we're going to leave that there. And the other ear, I am entirely satisfied with. You can see that I've more than covered the, uh, the hole. And uh, actually, if you take a look at this paint here, this latex, after just about 20 minutes, it's already starting to rubberize. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this dry overnight and uh, take a break. And then, uh, yeah. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay, so uh, in an intervening session, I made a few significant mods. Um, the nose of Spock or Leonard Nimoy is quite different than that of William Shatner, otherwise known as Captain Kirk. And uh, remember, I'm trying to get this mask to look closer to a Captain Kirk visage. And uh, the, the nose um, 
had some outstanding characteristics. I still needed to hone down a little bit. And uh, I also filled in the ears. So I can give you a closer look here. Um, okay, see how the nose is much more of a low profile now. And uh, um, Captain Kirk's nose uh, is much more of a a sort of pig dog nose. It's much more short and pudgy. He has a sort of cute small nose. Um, Leonard Nimoy's is much more long, um, drawn out of a pencil nose. So you see here I've, I've been able to get that uh, more of a more of the William Shatner nose here. Um, it still looks big. That's only because the uh, latex is a different color than the rest of the mask so it really makes it sta stand out in contrast uh, but once we finish up with the paint and everything uh, it's all going to come together a lot more smoothly this is more accurate here this this distance between the nose and lip is more like the original Myers mask and uh, also how it's pudging up a little bit how it's wisping up more like a, a pig. Uh, furthermore, I filled in the ears quite a bit to completely seal the hole I made earlier. You can also see in order to better work there, I've cut uh, a significant portion of hair back along the ear. However, this is just like the Halloween 1 scene where, where Michael Myers picks up the phone. And that's actually a look I was aiming for in the beginning. So uh, we're really coming along here. Um, you can take a look at the other side. So you have a nice thick ear um, sealant there. And uh, I broke up some of the uh, strands of hair here where the uh, latex had stuck to give it more of the uh, Rob, Rob Zombie dreadlock effect. Because uh, now, uh, before we paint the mask, we're going to work on the hair. This current Yanonamo Indian cut, um, we're, we're going to have to modify that quite a bit. Michael Myers' hair was always uh, slicked back. Um, in some of the movies, it was slicked back rather radically, but in most times, it was more of a um, sort of wild, roughly spiked up slick back effect. Um, in order to do that I've just got some very strong um, hair gel here. You can use um, egg whites if you want another strong hold. They're a little messier to work with and uh, long-term storage I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna have rot rotting smells or what have you. So uh, okay we're gonna um, we're gonna work on the hair now. This latex has been drying for about 12 hours and uh, it's not completely dry but it's dry enough to uh, work with the hair. Okay one more thing before we start with the hair is uh, you can see here I've actually removed the original eyebrows. Um, the reason is is because the Myers eyebrows are actually shaped differently and also um, in some of the movies, the eyebrows were actually painted in with black and did not have physical hairy eyebrows. And uh, that's more the look I'm going to go for in the end is the painted in sleek or black um, eyebrows. Now, the the Spock mask, the hair is, um, it's kind of hard to work with because when I first took this mask out of the box, the hair was very stiff going down, you know, Indonesian, Yanonamo Indian style, Brazilian Indian style.